How you doing folks? Been quite a while since I've been on here making a video. Hope you are all doing well and I hope all the community is doing fine. Just that I've been very busy <coughs> uh, doing a lot of music just now. So that has been keeping me occupied. So uh, yeah, so I decided to come on today and uh, just make a little video. Just now I am smoking out of uh, my Stanwell. I'm smoking out of that just now and uh, yeah, I also got a new I got a new little near from made in Turkey. I've had a couple of smokes out of it. Nice little pipe to smoke it of. It took quite a while to get to me. I had to uh, email the guy a couple of times to make sure that it was on its way. But uh, it uh, did come. So I am trying to uh, stop smoking. Finding it quite, quite difficult. But I'm getting there. I've only had two cigarettes today and that's since six o'clock this morning. Yeah, and today's tobacco I am smoking is good old Saint Bruno. I'm smoking that today with, believe it or not, a touch. I had a little bit of Balkan mixture left and it was dry so I decided to add the last of the Balkan mixture into the little jar there I have of uh, San Bruno and it's actually a very nice blend mm -hmm. quite sweet But uh, as I was saying, yeah, trying to stop the cigarette, get off the cigarettes, and I've been cutting down, and I've only, as I said, had two today. But you know, with everybody going on about this vaping nonsense, beep, beep, beep. So I did. Get, well, my wife did, sorry, got me a vape pipe. And uh, it's actually quite good. But, uh, so I'll actually show you just now this vape pipe I got. 
this is my vape pipe. solid wood and it's got that nice engravings around it and uh, the vape tank is actually there and the coil just goes into there and it's got I've got tobacco flavoured e-liquid in it And that has just got a battery in the inside. It just screws off. <coughs> and it's got a battery in there. And it actually imitates a real pipe. <coughs> I think this battery's gone just a little bit flat. I've had it for two or three days going. But as you, as you can see, every time I take a draw, it flashes red. Glows red as if it's a, a real pipe. which I'm finding really good and it's even got its own stand it came with its own stand a wee leather stand so it sits in there beside me so every time I want a cigarette I just go to that there and uh, when I want my pipe my real pipe I just go back to my stand well or whatever I fancy but uh, my wife's got another CT scan coming up she's got to make a phone call to get a CT scan uh, for to see to see how her lungs are but when she coughs she's getting this pain in her back at the moment but uh, <clears throat> that could be anything, it could be a slip disc or anything, you know, but I'm just wanting to see how her lung cancer is getting on. I was hoping it's still localised there. And uh, the doctor says that I could have a, go a growth on my face there. So they're not 100% sure that it's skin cancer, but if it gets any bigger within six weeks, the doctor said he's going to have to do something about it, so he's not sure if it's cancerous or not. But it doesn't bother me, it's no sore, it's no itchy, uh, it doesn't weep, it's just just there, it's just came out of nowhere. And it's my dentist that uh, spotted it, and uh, so that's why I went to the GP. So, praying to God that. It's nothing serious and uh, that it can be seen to and addressed. <coughs> but uh, at the meantime I'm more focusing on my wife, you know. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes life can be a bit of a worry, but uh, you know, we just have to leave it in God's hands. All this happening over in with Russia just now and the Ukraine and
And yeah, that's the last thing we need is a a third world war. You know, we've already had one and two, so we don't want another one. For the sake of one crazy guy. But as all you folks out there, this is not the place for politics. This is the place for pipes. <laughs> It's just a little bit of that Balkan mixture, the Balkan mixture that was left, and it was dry, and I just uh, mixed it in with my St. Bruno. Some of my other tobaccos have gone dry, my Royal Enzyme, and uh, I can't remember, there's a couple of them going dry, and I'm trying to, if you ladies and gentlemen out there have got any tips you can give me. I heard like peeling on potato peeling can be quite good or an orange peel or apple peel can be quite good to put in your tobacco. I'd just like to see if any of you had any more advice. Oh, bear with me one minute. I got another pipe. <coughs> Sorry about that, I haven't got the camera up, but it's been flashing around, but I got this pipe also. It's got a Meersham inlining on it. Now, this pipe is, oh gosh, it is made in Italy. It's uh, Dominique, Italy Dominique, uh, it's called a Dominique, Domino, oh, so Domino, um, uh, but it's a, a Domino, that's what it's called, Italy, it's made in Italy, and uh, I got it quite cheap off eBay because I just like the look of it, and it is real briar with a Meersham inline. And it's a terrific smoking little pipe. It really is a good smoking pipe. So I knew there was another one I had to show you, ladies and gentlemen. Like this. And, uh, yeah, but I just, as I say, as I came on here just to. Let us know that I'm still alive and kicking, and I'll have to come back on and make a start putting more videos, more of my videos actually up. Start getting back into it, it's just I've been busy. Sherlock. Yeah, so uh, all I can say to you at the moment is uh, it's just nice to come back on and just have a <coughs> a chat and uh, hoping you're all well. Stay safe and uh, God bless you all and uh, I'll get you later. Keep puffing, keep smoking your pipes. Cheers for just now folks.